Hi guys, welcome to the Season 3 Runes and Charms Proposed Updates. As posted by Hale, uh, th these slides are in Canva. It was posted by Hale and uh, there's there's a lot of them. There's 80 pages. There's 80 pages. Holy moly, there's a lot of them. There are a lot. So strap yourselves in, ladies and gents. Oh, we're going in. First off, we are getting the Aqua Runes. So there's now four. Uh, these four have been updated and Bloodlust is back. Bloodlust is making a comeback after taking a hiatus on Season 2. Let's see what changes happening on Aqua Runes. First, Way of Aquatic has been buffed. It's now plus 15% very nice blunt teeth has also been buffed it's now minus 15 percent instead of minus 30 very very nice next is hardy word it's now adjusted it is now an epic rarity rune solo has been added and a bonus threshold has been lowered to 50 percent it's a little bit of a mix it's a nerf and a buff at the same time because it's now an epic and it's solo, but now you can get bonus dam damage up to 50% of their HP. So, I uh, as a as a triple owl enjoyer, this is scaring me. <laughs> Very scary. Giant bubble has been reworked. It is now base one bubble removed. A bubble per energy spent increased to four. It was used to be three, and it now has ten base shield, and it shields all allies. So, yeah, it's a, it's a nice, nice change, I guess. Yeah. All right, let's move on. I don't know. I don't, I don't really play with this rune, so I can't really give much thoughts about it. But here we go. Let's move on to the next one. OMG. Bloodlust is back. It's now a mystic rarity rune, which uh, honestly, it was a mystic long before. It was mystic in power. It was much stronger than Heart of the Ocean. It is a solo rune, much deserved. A single attack steals 15 HP. AoE and multi-hit attacks steal 5 HP. Now, it is a question. Do multi-hits steal 5 HP each? Or is it one time 5 HP steal? Because uh, it th this is a... Uh, <laughs> Imagine a winghorn with six feather daggers and they steal 5 HP each. Or does it steal 15 HP each? We don't know. Not yet, anyway. Hope someone can chime in. But even then, holy moly. Bloodless is back, boys. Aqua Aggro is back. Let's move on to the next one. Beast Runes. There's seven. Lots of changes. And we have a new one. Brutal Fam. Ooh. Oh. Way of Beast has been buffed. Similar to Way of aquatic 15 percent now dominant predator ha heal has been reduced to 12 15 hp was too high honestly it was reckless hunter is now an epic rare rune everything has been it's it's made stronger and nerfed at the same time so it now goes up to 25 percent but the damage taken is also increased to 15 percent so mm. extremely it's it moved up it moved up to the more extreme end 15 percent bonus damage but you know you get to do uh 25 more damage yep i mean it's it's also an epic now and it's solo i mean no one used more than one of it so i guess this this part doesn't really affect anything but yeah it's not available in rare era anymore it's an epic moving on to glorious main effect now applies to all attacks not just single attack cards but the, it's now change is now base damage of attacks is increased by six percent per energy spent no longer a flat damage of 10 hey lunami welcome and hello ain't welcome to the stream so what do we do here is it better or is it worse honestly i it mm, it's if it still has that clause that it doesn't gain energy fragments it's still really bad i think i don't know i never really played this I don't know if this is enough of a change to make it worthwhile. I guess we'll find out when the season starts. Next up is Pangolin Scale. Damage reduction increased to 18% because it was super bad. When you come up... when it, it, This is an epic and you have to contest Last Wish. 
Yeah, 15% was awful. 18% is it good enough? I don't know. We'll find out. I think it's still not as good as Last Wish, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Hey, Robocop, welcome to the stream. Hello, Chonky Cat. Welcome, welcome. Endless Anger has been adjusted. Rage gain per turn now increased to 2 instead of 1. And bonus damage per stack has been decreased to 2 instead of 3. Alright, so this is an interesting, interesting change. Because now, it's sort of a buff and also sort of a nerf. It's sort of a buff because every time, every turn, you get 4 damage instead of just 3. But at the same time, uh, Endless Anger, you're, you will trigger Rage much more faster. Like, like double the, literally double, double the time it takes to activate Rage. So you will use your Rage stacks pretty quickly. So it's not as... The damage bonus isn't going to be on there, on their Axie, for as long as it did, apparently. So... It's a bit of a it's a bit of a wash. It's a nerf and uh, it's a nerf to everything else that is not AoE and multi hit. It's a nerf to AoE and multi hit, I think. Cause you have to be you have a you have less time to set up your, your feathers and your rage at the same time. So is it the is this the death of endless anger AoE? Probably not, but their power devil is definitely going to fluctuate depending on their draws. So yeah, I guess I guess I'll take it. I'll take it. Next up is the new mystic rune for beasts. Brutal Fang. Mystic Rarity Solo. Against targets with less than six bleeds this turn. This axie single and AoE attacks double the bleed turns on targets. Otherwise create blood storms. Bloodstorm, reduce 3 turns of bleed on the target, then deal 15 pure damage to all enemy axes. I like this because bleed is getting more support. Uh, in Season 2, after the Rare Era, bleeds were just horrible. They couldn't do anything. They just get outscaled by pretty much everything else. Uh, I played bleed team for, for Rare and Epic. And in Epic, I can already feel that bleed teams were just not good enough or not strong enough. So I'm glad that they're adding support to bleed. I don't know how strong this is going to be because I hmm, I don't know how good this is actually. I don't know how, how the math for this checks out. Because you will eventually... Uh, yeah, I don't know how, how the interaction is between Brutal Fan, like... If you have less than six bleeds, it doubles it. So, hmm. I'll have to do the math on this first to see how it works out. But, you know, just having another rune that interacts with bleed, I like it. Thumbs up. Alright, move on to the bird runes. We have five changes. Let's see. Yo, Mr. Alricky, thank you for the raid. Welcome, welcome, everyone. Welcome. Welcome all the raiders, Alricky. Boom. Welcome. Welcome. All right. I'm a hacking movie star. Yes, you are a hacking movie star, Mr. Alricky. I don't know if, if if I said that. Maybe I did. But yes, you are. <laughs> all right. Where were we? All right. Bird runes. There's five changes. There's a new one. Frail Egg. Should be interesting. And a return of uh, well, Raven's Tactic. Let's see. Let's see. I mean, Raven's Tactic was there. It just wasn't used all that much because much better charms were made. Let's see how this one uh, this one moves in. All right. Way of the Bird. Same as the other way runes has been buffed. Now 15%. Frail Egg. This is rare. When your turn starts, randomly apply weak to two turn For two turns to enemy axes two times. Hmm okay so this is support for all the rare or the weak charms but this is random so there's no guarantee that it's going to apply on the front axie but there's a lot name web check rune please uh hey um minotauri welcome first time chat uh what does that mean exactly name web check rune 
please? Uh, I don't understand. Can you rephrase your question or can you rephrase your your sentence? I don't really understand what you're saying. <laughs> but yeah, this is interesting. I don't know if it's gonna have much use after rare era, but for I guess it's nice. Oh, asking for the link. All right, all right, all right. Hold on, I can give you. All right. Hey, Broger, welcome to the stream. Uh, this is the current page that I'm in, but you can uh, scroll back to the start. Hey, Ryan the Healer, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Hope you enjoy the show, and yeah, let me know if you have any questions. Congratulations, Mr. Brogert. Uh, there's no March games just yet. Uh, we'll see how that goes. Alright. Rare Leg, going to be interesting, but I don't... I mean, interesting for Rare. But it's a Rare Rune. Probably not going to be relevant after Rare Era. Yeah. Moving on. Energy Guru. Epic Rarity now instead of Rare. Solo has been added and deal 7 damage per energy cost. Holy moly. Fun. Summons will not survive. Yeah. Just use two energy and summons are already dead. Interesting. Hmm. Who are summons? They never stood a chance. Alright, let's move on to the next one. Sharp Talon has been reworked. It is now an epic rarity rune. Deals plus 25% damage against non-shielded enemies. So it was buffed up from 20. And it now deals plus 15% damage otherwise. So it's no longer a dead rune if your opponent has shield. You still, uh, you still deal less damage to shields. But at least you still uh, you, you still do bonus damage to shields, yeah. Right? So yeah, I like this. I like this change. Very nice. Raven's tactic is now a mystic rune. So I think there's going to be a mystic rune for all all classes now. At least two, at least two mystic runes, which is nice. But maybe not nice. There's going to be a lot more variety, but it's going to be a lot harder to get the mystic rune that you want not that i'm able to craft mystic runes or charms uh, i still haven't gotten any mystic moments but you know <laughs> anyway remus tactic mystic rarity solo when your turn starts this axie consumes all feathers to heal 2 hp per feather each hit by this axie increases the damage of its next hit by 15 percent Cap at 45% bonus damage. When your turn end, reset bonus damage to zero. Alright, so this is an interesting uh, interesting rune. Because this basically means that you can't use this with feather build. So try owl is not particularly effective, but you still want at least some multi hits so that you are at peak capacity with just one energy. Uh, so you can use Tri Feather and you're already at the 15% bonus damage. You can use uh let's see what else is there. Mm. You can use a feather fan and you'll be at 45% bonus damage instantly. Yeah, so you know stuff like that. And then you have heavy hitting cards. So there's the last one, which is base 90. 45% bonus of that. Holy moly. That's a what yeah. That's going to be very strong. Uh, what else is there? Uh, there's a few other high damage bird cards that I can't think of right now. But yeah, this is going to be interesting. I mean, you can even use this on axes that have two cost cards from off classes, right? So, like, imagine a Koi 135. You get another 45% bonus on top of it. Like, try feather into a Koi. Yikes. So there's interesting applications for this. But again, this is not for owl builds. Because you can't take advantage of the 45% bonus damage. So this is uh, interesting. They're, they're allowing birds to have single target attacks. They're not limited to just AoE and owls anymore. So interesting, interesting. All right, let's move on to the next one. We are done with the birds. Let's go over to the bug rooms. Way of Bug, Leech, Sturdy Fighter, Fate Maker. Ooh, that's a new one. And Metamorphosis. Let's check them out. All right, Way of Bug. Oh, okay. So this is not just a flat 15 bonus. All right, let's see. 
Uh, when the battle starts, gain two cocoon. Okay, shield no cards no longer grant plus ten percent bonus shield. This axe gains plus fifteen percent more shield from all sources. Hmm. I wonder if that fifteen percent also applies to the cocoon shield. Wouldn't that be interesting? So, this is a very interesting rare rune. It's much more than just the other way of the class. So interesting, interesting. Let's move on to the next one. A leech has been adjusted. It is now epic. Solo has been added. Shield steel increased to 50%. Oh boy. Well. 50% seal. Alright. Well, I guess sustain teams will just auto surrender to this. I don't know. <laughs> if there is no HP steal, it now leeches 6 HP from all opponent axes. Okay. Hmm. Definitely strong. Sustain teams just uh yeah, this just auto win sustain matches, I guess. Okay. Sturdy Fighter, Shield Consumed has been nerfed. It is now consumes 25% instead of 20. I mean, it's a nerf and a buff. You consume more shield, so you have less protection, but you do more damage. Right? Hmm. It's a toss-up. Uh, I, I know. I, I haven't played extensively with Sturdy Fighter, so I can't comment enough on this, but yeah. I think it's... Uh... Yeah, I don't know. All right, let's move on. Fate Maker is a new rune. Epic Rarity Solo. Once per battle, enemy cards discarded by this Axie have their stat reduced by 15%. Your cards discarded by this Axie have their stat increased by 15%. Alright, so... This is interesting. Once per battle, does that mean the, the stat reduction is like permanent for the rest of the game? Or is it a one-time thing? Because you can't discard your opponent's cards with cards like Neo and Antenna. And you can scry your cards to increase their stats. So you make sure that some of your cards that are, you know, uh, for like the second cycle, you're no use on the first cycle kind of cards. They'll be even stronger when you're ready to, to play them. For example, a Thorny Caterpillar. You don't really want to use it on turn on the first cycle. You want to use it in the second cycle when you've already put goos on your opponent's deck. So 15% on top of whatever else, whatever else bonuses you have. Interesting. Very interesting. Yeah, I'm sure there's going to be some very strong combos with this for sure. Uh, I, I can't think of any right now, but yeah, definitely some interesting stuff happening here. Metamorphosis has been reworked. It is now a mystic. When your turn starts, this axe gains 2 cocoon, then deals 2 damage equal to 10% of a shield per cocoon stack to all enemy axes. Alright. So this is an interesting one, because when your turn starts is an interesting clause. That means you can't really take advantage of this at the early, early stages of the game, right? You need... 10 cocoons so that you get to retain 50% of that shield and then the 50% of that shield 10% of that is dealt as damage to the opponents so I, I it's definitely an interesting rune because this is almost like tassels without having to activate it it's like I mean you have to build up to it so it's gonna deal a tiny bit of damage at the start but it ramps up and again you're shielding up while doing damage to your opponent so definitely an interesting rune definitely an interesting rune it, aggro teams are just gonna have to find a way garo or other ways of putting fragile on your opponent is definitely going to be interesting or at the very worst you need a leech on one of your axes as an aggro team just to make sure that you don't get too destroyed by shields and reflects potentially reflects yeah. but you know shielder teams against aggro always have reflect anyway indian star so yeah sustain teams have interesting tools now let's move on to the next one plant runes all right so there's five 
Way of Plat, when the battle starts, gain 2 leap. No longer grants bonus healing, but this Axie's base HP is increased by 8%. Hmm. How much is that? 400 times 0 0.08. 32 HP by itself. Not, not probably, will probably stack with runes or with other charms. Getting 32 HP with from a rare rune. That's a lot of value. Interesting. But yeah, it's gain to leave and high HP. Definitely interesting. And it's a rare. It doesn't have any other effects like, you know, uh, Last Wish, which is a, a very popular rune, or Guy is Embrace, which increases the HP on all, all of the axes. But this is definitely uh, an interesting one. It's definitely going to change stuff. Copium Lanami, uh, what's Copium about it? Yeah, let me know. What 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 do you think? Uh, let's move on to the next one while Lunami is typing. Miracle Leap. Epic Rarity it was a bear. So solo. Axie's attack deal 1 bonus damage per leaf. Okay. If this Axie has at least 5 leaf before attacking, deal 20% bonus damage. No typing? Alright. Interesting. So what this did before was that you get 1 attack per leaf and then once you're once you're at max stacks it doubles so you get 20 attack or 20 damage on all of your attacks so the way i interpreted that before was that it's a support for leafy but then it's also not for leafy because once you use your first leaf you also lose a bit of damage right but now with this it's excellent leafy support because now you can active you, you get both benefits right so you get benefit from this and benefit from the bonus damage so maybe leafy teams will make a comeback i don't know uh no lunami that joke has already been done in mr albiki stream yeah uh, you'll just have to watch the vod i'll upload this on youtube you can watch the start from there all right let's move on leaf cloak has been adjusted it is now 20 percent reduction instead of just 15. holy moly this is, yeah, this is very, very strong. I like this. I've already had trouble with Leaf Cloak before. Because as a as an owl player, I put so many leaves. It's just round two and my opponents already have like five leaves on all of their axes. It's actually crazy. And now it's 20% reduction. Mm. Okay then. All right. Let's move on to the next one. Brides and Ruin uh, makes a return. Solo, before the battle starts, add one forest breath to your deck. Once per turn, when an ally is cleansed, add one forest wrath to your hand. Alright. Forest breath. Retain. Heal and cleanse all allied axes. If there's at least one non-debuffed allied axe, apply sleep for three turns to one random enemy. Okay. And then forest wrath. Retain. Target any enemy. Deal 70 damage deal 10 damage per other force wrath in your hand banish okay i wonder if that if if forest wrath is owned by the axie that has this room because now as a sustained team you don't need to have actual attack cards in your deck you just need forest rise and ruin and it it supplies you with the attack cards holy moly interesting and it's only once per turn right so you don't actually gain a lot of porous wrath and it's a one energy cost card so it's not super duper broken but i can see this being strong with sustained teams and again this is a counter to anything that wants to deal status effects so that would be Poison teams, bleed teams, fear teams, I don't know. Very interesting. Alrighty. Uh, interesting discussion happening in chat. Mr. Boom and Mr. Lunami discussing this <laughs> Alright. 
Well, okay. Alright, let's move on. Healing Pulse. It's now a Mystic Boon. Solo, this actually heals 20% bonus HP. Okay. Overheal amount granted by this Axie converts to shield. Overheal amount granted by this Axie converts to one damage to one random enemy. Okay. So you're... Definitely interesting. So if you are a, you know, a heal-focused team, which a lot are, you cannot use healing pulse to overheal and you get shield from it. So what happened before was that healing teams fell out of the meta because of Blood Moon, right? In Blood Moon, max HP and healing doesn't matter. But now that you have this, when you have lower max HP, you can heal and get a lot of healing and a lot of, I mean, a lot of shield and you can get a lot of damage done to your enemies too at the same time. So... Yeah, healing teams now have a chance at Blood Moon when it comes to I mean when the mystic when this mystic moon becomes available. Very interesting. Yeah, because most Blood Moon teams are just shield. Now the healing could be a thing. Healing Blood Moon teams could be a thing. Yep, a lot of shield and a lot of damage. That is exactly it. Uh, how do I pronounce it? Is it Glyton or is it Glitten? Uh, yeah, don't worry. I'll just keep chat in. Uh, you guys can be part of the VOD. Don't worry about it. Alright, let's move on to the next one. Reptile Runes. Don't put anything sus in chat. I will ban you. Alright. Okay, let's move on. Reptile Runes, Way of Reptile, Poison Touch, Shell Shock, Venom Master, Prehistoric, and... Ooh, a new one. Paralyzing Fang. Interesting. Pool of Hearts, don't... Don't. <laughs> don't worry about it, Lunami. It's okay. Alright. Way of Reptile, Heal Increased to 5% instead of 3. Uh, uh, no one... In, I don't think that's a compelling enough reason to, to use this over anything else, really. Yo, A-Town, welcome to the stream, dude. Yeah, we're just going over the changes. Poison Touch, rare rarity. Was epic solo has been removed and oh my god, poison buff. It still only works once though against multi-hits. But now that you have a poison touch on everything, yeah. AoE is gonna have a bad time. Very bad time. <laughs> Pretends to be shocked? Okay, sure. I mean, I know you've already seen this, Mr. Boom, but yeah. Poison is, uh, mm, <laughs> mm, interesting. Shell Shock is now an epic rune. A solo has been added. Deal damage to all enemy axes was used, used to be a random axes, and now heal has been increased to 15 HP was 10. So, oh, thank you for the bits. A Town, thank you, thank you so much. 71 bits. Is it 71 for a specific reason? What's what's with the 71 bits? Oh, yeah, thank you so much, dude. That is the new so one more stem. Oh! How did you not die? Oh, oh, oh. I almost died there. Way too loud. Way too loud. Oh, Alright, I don't know what that clip was for, but. Yeah, thank you, thank you so much, dude. Yeah, way too dang. Yeah, I had to lower that. Sorry about that, guys. I wasn't expecting a... <laughs> that was way too loud. Anyway, let's move on. Shell Shock. I'll probably edit that one part out, though. That was too loud. I don't want YouTube to be... Yeah, I don't want YouTube to hate me. I I'm not sure if they're actually going to watch this, but... No. All right. All right, so this is an interesting change. Uh, I saw in El Azul stream, he fought someone that was using Shell Shock. It was a sustained team that stacked so many secrets on one Axie. He had two Shell Shocks. And he activate self-activated his secrets. So that was an interesting, interesting, uh, interesting fight. With this, definitely going to be a lot stronger. Like, so there's going to be a third variant of sustained team. Yikes. 
Well, more things in the mirror, more fun, right? Question mark? We'll find out. All right, let's move on to the next one, which is... Venom Master. Venom Master has been changed. It's reworked. Solo, before the battle starts, add one Venom Burst to your deck. This at Axie's attack deal 15% less damage. And apply one poison per hit. Interesting. So multi-hits can be a thing again with Venom Master. All right. Venom Burst. Retain. Target any enemy. Deal 8 pure damage per poison stack on the target. Then remove and equally spread its poison stack to other enemy axes. Hmm. Venom Burst is a one-time one thing. It only exists one time because it's a banished card, right? You can tricky it back, but would you want to? Again, this is interesting because if you have Venom Master, you can have Kotaro. And you can have other ways to ramp, right? Uh, we'll find out. Yeah, it's free energy. But again, y you want multi-hit. So you do want Kotaro in your in your build if, you, if you're doing this. You want to get to... You know, a lot fast. You want to get to burst one fast. So there are ways to do that as a poison team. You have Kotaro. You have... Mm, interesting, interesting. Yeah. Having 15% less damage is definitely going to hurt, right? But you're after applying poison per hit. And again, you get a Venom Burst, which is going to be... Hmm. This is going to be an interesting rune. I'm not sure if it's going to be super meta. But just having this, like... 8 times 40 is what? 8 times 40 is 320 damage. If you're at max stacks, that's 320 damage. And that that axe is already poisoned. It's probably already damaged. So I think this is... Yeah, you use this to kill one of the axes. You remove all of the poison. You spread 20 poison to the remaining two axes. Yeah. Isn't this actually strong? I like this. I like this a lot, right? Again, you're after you're you're going to want to use Kotaro and other ramp cards with this, right? So hmm. very interesting. I like this. I like this one. I like this one. Hmm. Alright, let's move on. Next one. Adjusted. Heal increase to 10 was 8. Oh boy. <laughs> I like this one. This one is very simple but very effective. I like this one. Very, very nice. New one. A Paralyzing Fang. Mystic Rune. Solo. This actually single and AoE attacks. The apply Doubt for 2 turns. And deal 1 pure damage per debuff stack and debuff turn on the targets capped at 40 damage interesting so you apply doubt one pure damage per debuff stack and debuff turn on the target so this is basically something that would prevent or prevent your opponent from healing up from poison right or it, they can still heal but it's going to be half effective. It's capped at 40 damage, but... Yeah? Yeah? Aggro poison? Aggro poison? Aggro poison? Uh, no, it's not pure damage. It's not pure. It's, it says just 40 damage. So this... Uh... Oh, wait. It is pure damage. What? Holy moly. That's a lot. 
Yeah, thank you for pointing that out, Ada. Holy moly. There's a way... I mean... Yeah? Like, debuffs are super strong now, right? Debuffs are super strong now with this. Very, I mean, it's a mystic. This is an epic. Oh boy. Yeah, poison aggro might be a thing because of this. Poison is the only status effect that can stack to 15 or 20 by by the second cycle, right? No other debuff can do that, right? So, yeah, this is a... Uh, hmm. Uh, we already got through the bleeds, Atom. We yeah, that was earlier. That was earlier. But yeah, bleeds are also interesting. I have to do the math on the bleeds to to be able to figure out if they're good or not. But yeah, all right, let's move on. We're uh, we're about halfway. We're already uh, fifty minutes into the stream, and we're only halfway. All right, Dawn Runes, Divine Rain, Rejuvenate Echoes, and Celestial Might. All right, so there's a no new one. All right. Revert. Stat increased to 10% was 5. Bonus stat applied to all cards. It not just heal and shield. Okay. Mm. All right. Let's move on. Rejuvenate. Epic now. It's not rare anymore. Increased bonus stat to 15% was 10. Apply stat. Applied. Bonus stat applied to heal and shield cards was skill and secret. So anything with heal and shield. So secrets and skills without healing or without shields can't be casted reju rejuvenate. I mean, I guess that makes sense. You don't really... Hmm. But does that mean no more free rejuvenates from, from, from zero cost cards? Is that what it means? Does rejuvenate not work with secret, well, with zero cost cards anymore? Like confident, like uh, cloud, like uh, what else is there? Uh, cottontail. Hmm. Uh, th those don't heal. I mean, cottontail does, but confident and cloud don't. Hmm. Rejuvenate, yeah, for the rare era, but it's an epic for some reason. I mean, it's 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 been reworked, so it does more stuff. So maybe it's too strong for rare era. But yeah, this was what I was thinking about when, because poison and and bleeds are super strong now. Not having rejuvenate in the rare era is going to tip the favor for deep of teams, right? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, Papi and what's the other one? The heal, the cucumber eyes. Mm -hmm. Interesting, interesting. All right, let's move on. Next up is Heaven's Echoes. Has been adjusted. Bonus stat increased to twenty percent per buff. Bonus shield increased to twenty. Right. This is the one that that gives buffs per. That gives bonuses per buff on your Axie, right? Or uh, am I wrong? I haven't actually used it. I don't think anyone actually uses Heaven as Echo, so I don't remember what it does. But, you know, it just increases all around, all across the board. Not sure if that's enough reason to use this. But, yeah. One. Okay, Celestial Might has is a new rune. Okay, it's completely new. Alright, Mystic Rarity solo. This Axie's abilities have 25% bonus stats when played. This Axie's abilities are banished after they are played two times. Hold on. Really? 25% bonus and then it's uh, it it's banished. Okay. Interesting. So this is a card for your midliner or your support. Because you only want to use these cards twice anyway and then they can die, right? It is. It's. I don't know if you can actually use it twice though. For owl teams. Because you're never going... You're going to prioritize the owl cards. Not the cards of the support. 
Usually, the first cycle, you don't use your support cards, right? Definitely interesting, but yeah, the idea that you get free banishes after using stronger cards, by the way, 25% more. And they're self banish after being used two times. That's pretty interesting. Yo, Curves, welcome to the stream, dude. Interesting. But again, this is bonus stats. It doesn't affect stuff like Cloud. You don't get extra feathers from Cloud and stuff like that. But definitely interesting for teams that actually want to banish. This is going to be a very interesting. Right. I, I like that there is stuff for that now. All right, let's move on. Dusk runes. We have four changes. Dark Flame has been reworked. Bone stat increased to 10% and Purge deals 10 damage. Okay. I mean, 10 damage is, is pretty much nothing, but okay. Sure. I, I guess it's still a zero cost card, right? So I guess it's okay. A free 10, free 10 damage. Mm. I guess it's nice. Curse Ritual. Damage dealt increased to 5. It was 3. Damage cap increased, decreased to 25. It was a 30. Hmm. Okay. Interesting change. Probably not big enough to really... But again, uh, Jinx teams would probably be okay with this. Wicked Ward is now an epic rune. Solo has been added. Shield applied to increase to 12. It triggers when allied Axies uses a curse card. Before, it was only the Axie that, is, that equipped it. So interesting because now if you just do any type of curse and you get 12 shield on all of your Axies. Right? Is it only for the for the user or for all axes? I think it was only for the user, right? So this is still a frontliner card. Hello, Mel Hope. Welcome to the stream. Yeah, we're just going over the changes. And yeah, we're I think we're ha more than halfway done. Yeah, we're more than halfway done. Alright, Demon Soul, when played. This Axie's abilities consume 66 HP from the lowest HP ally and then gain 6% base stat. So you are intentionally damaging one of your axes to gain 6% base stat. Okay. Does, does, it, does it stack or is it like 6% base across everything? And again, one of the issues that I found was there are cards that want want to damage themselves but they don't have a way to do that so there are ways so you have stuff like mosquito you have stuff like trunk you have stuff like gecko eyes you have gecko wall gecko and usually when you use those cards you want to use something like uh what do you call that the the snake jar to activate right but the cards themselves weren't enough to activate self activate uh snake jar so with this rune you might be able to trigger your snake jar by yourself right and again this is only for this axis card so your your other cards or your cards on your other axes are still going to be okay like you can use your other axes to heal up so this is pretty interesting I don't know if six percent base stat is enough. I think mostly it's, it's, yeah. They're turning dusks into the black archetype in Magic: The Gathering. So in Magic: The Gathering, it's like sacrifice your own HP or your your life points to trigger an effect. So this leans more towards that, like damage your axi, gain a benefit. And I think that this is a this is an interesting take because I dusks have always been the black archetype for me. You know, they they deal with curses, they deal with uh, with debuffs and stuff. So yeah, I think this is an interesting, definitely an interesting direction. Yo, Chigi, welcome. Ichigi, I'm sorry, I thought you were Chigi. Yeah, Ichigi, welcome to the stream, dude. Yeah, we're going through the stuff. Uh, if you want to have a recap, I'll be uploading this on YouTube. So uh, stay tuned for that. I'll upload this 
tomorrow. And so interesting, interesting. All right, let's move on to mech runes. There's four changes. Trap nullifier. Bonus stat increase to 10. Detect deals 10 damage. Again, detect is a zero cost card, right? So free 10 damage. Oh, pretty nice. Zap armor. Epic rarity. Now solo has been added. Damage bo Bonus damage when shielded increased to 20%. It will used to be 10. Definitely interesting because cocoons are a thing now. You can have... You can put Cocoon on your Axie and it'll have shield by default without having to do much other things. So Zap Armor Aggro with Cocoon is definitely possible now. For shield checking. Alright, that makes more sense here. And also, thank you for, for stopping and saying something. Yeah, definitely interesting. All right, Lens of True, damage bones increase to 20%. Very nice. All right, everything just gets buffed. Everything just gets stronger. So games are definitely going to be faster. That's for sure. All right, let's move on to the new Mystic Rune, Last Stand. I like that, that, that 1 HP battery. <laughs> 1 HP battery icon. All right, Mystic Rarity solo once per battle. If this Axie would die, it survives with 1 HP. Cannot die. And its abilities gain 50% bonus stats. At the end of the next turn, this Axie dies. Hmm. Alright, so your your Axie oh, yeah. dies on your opponent's turn. It literally cannot die just if your opponent is using a front-to-back team. All of his other cards are wasted on this guy because they can't get through him, literally, because he just literally won't die. And then on his turn, he gets 50% bonus stats. And he would die regardless anyway, because yeah, he was supposed to die the previous turn, right? But now he gets to have an extra turn. He gets 50% bonus stats. And then he, he yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, wait, can you find this update? Uh, you can go here. Yeah, he, he, that's uh, at the, the middle part. You can just scroll back to the front. Yeah, where I can't unlock the new S uh in beta server. Oh, are are they available already? I uh, I have to check that. But this is interesting, and it's definitely deserving to be a mystic. But there is a drawback to this. If your Axie survives and you don't draw any of his cards, <laughs> you basically lose the fifty percent bonus. But you know, the fact that it's literally a wall that you can't get through for one turn is uh interesting. Alright. Okay. Yeah. Pretty nice. Alright. Let's move on to the next one. We have neutral runes. There's six of them. Tape three hood cards? Possible. Possible. Alright. Let's move on. Uh, pure power. Other allied axes attack cards have 10% bonus stats when played. Alright. It's a support rune now. Not the... It's not a self power rune and again it lost its class card requirement it's now any any card Ev all cards actually have 10 percent bonus stats interesting your skill so same thing uh but for heal and heal cards uh pure luck okay this is new epic rarity solo when your turn starts if there's at least two curse cards in your hand and draw pile draw one additional cards okay Otherwise, those Axie's cards deal 15% bonus stats until your turn ends. Interesting. So this is like a combination of these two, but still a self, a self affecting rune. And if you have two curse cards, you get to draw one additional card. That's pretty nice. That's actually very nice. A little counter to curse teams, right? I would still much rather prefer not having the curse cards in my deck. But if it happens that there's two, at least I get one extra, right? Yeah, I mean, if your opponent is using a curse-centric deck, it's very possible that you still draw one more curse. 
But at least that's one extra curse that you don't have to deal with anymore, right? Uh, yeah, 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 pretty interesting. All right, next rune is Energy Shard. It's been reworked. It's now Epic Solo has been added. Gain one Energy Fragment per unique Axie class on your team. So this is only a one-time thing. This only happens at the start of your turn or start of the game. Heal all light axes on energy burst. It's used to be just the equipped axie, but now it all your axes get healed when you get an energy burst. It's a nice head start. Having three at the start means you only need 12, right? Definitely going to be interesting. Yeah, they made it for this. They made this to go against swirls, but swirls don't exist anymore. Uh, can you teach me on how to unlock the new runes and charms? Uh, we'll, we'll get to that later, all purpose. Have. I haven't done it myself either. Maybe it's not available yet. Well, uh, Hail, is it? Is Are the Season 3 stuff already available in beta? Yeah, for Jinx, it's good, true. But again, oh, it's up on PvE. I see. Interesting. Okay, so there you go. All right, we'll, we'll get to that in a bit. Let's finish all of this stuff. There's still about, you know, 25% to go. All right, Pure Instinct, Mystic Rarity, Solo. Other allied Axies cards have 10% bonus stats when played, so similar to Pure Power. But now, this effect is increased by 5% per unique Axie class in your team. So this goes up to 25%, which is a lot better than Pure Power, which is, I mean, this is Mystic. The other one's... uh are rare so all understandably it's better uh hail uh i have a question how does it stack does it stack additively with other buffs or is it multiplicative with other percent bonuses like for example you have a uh, full power a full effects uh what do you call that rune uh raven's tactic probably added all right additive is a lot stronger Oh, which is probably better, right? The additive is probably better. The multiplicative is stronger. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, multipli because yeah, you you want them to be additive instead of you don't want in insane stacking stuff, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah. Instead of just... Yeah. Alright. Okay. Yeah. Definitely going to be interesting because... You can have a pure instinct and then some, one, of, one of your axes has pure power. And then you have... I, I don't know. Reckless Hunter. And then you have... 75? Is it? 60% bonus? It's 25 on this, 25 on on Reckless Hunter, and then 10% is 60. Yeah, you get 60% bonus damage on your Reckless Hunter Axie. And you have nuts that deal 100, so that's 160 damage. Oh my god. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, aggro, aggro definitely has tools. Aggro definitely has tools. Yeah, there's also that. There's a lot of possible combinations for aggro now. So maybe aggro isn't dead. They have insane scaling now. Insane scaling. Imagine having a... A 4 energy Ronin. And that would be 125 base. 125 base? Or is that 100 base? And then you add 60% of that. A rune that does 160 after 4 energy, right? Not counting any attack rune or attack charm that you might have on that ronin. This is, uh, yeah, definitely a thing. Definitely going to be a thing. Yeah. All right, Shady Exchange has been adjusted. It's now reduced to 2 instead of 3. So now you can actually get energy fragments when you use Shady Exchange. Before, you couldn't get any at all unless you were running ramp. Ramp fragments. But now, you at least can stack get one. So... Still pretty slow. It, it It's slow at the start. 
But after you get to round three, I think it's still definitely a, a, a rune for, for sustain teams. Because aggro does not want their energy fragments gone. They actually want fast fragments so they can cottontail quickly. So this is not an aggro rune. This is more for sustain. So definitely definitely has its place now. Much better than what it was before. Because before it was a dead rune. No one wanted to use Shade Exchange. But still, yeah, it could have its... I mean, yeah, it's still pretty meh. But at least it's better than what it was. We'll find out if it's if it's good enough now or later. We'll find out. All right, neutral charms. Okay, we finally made it to, to the charms part. Yeah, well, there's a lot of charms to go. All right, neutral charms. Black Sage. Ooh, that's new. All right, let's check it out. Neutral, 5 PP, alter single card, add dispel. Card's base stat, minus 20%. So any card is an Aranda now. Or you can have an Aranda without tape and remove six buffs. Or six turns of buffs. Hmm. Removing six feathers on an owl is basically a death sentence. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty good. Pretty good. It's 5 PP deserving because this spell is a strong effect. 20% base stat. I guess you put this on things that can target any, right? Like, you put this on a Scarab, you can put this on a Gerbil, you can put this on other stuff that already... I mean, you can even put this on the, the, the sleep ones, right? You can remove the... Uh, Hail, does it remove before other effects? Does this, the Dispel, the, the dispel have priority? So, for example, your opponent has three, three cleansers, right? If you use this, does it remove the cleansers and then it does whatever else? Because if you can remove the cleansers... Yeah, because if you can remove the cleansers and then the effect happens... So, for example, you are using a Scarab, right? You can remove the three cleansers and then you apply the doubt. Is that or the the heal prevention? Is that? I'll have to test. All right. Okay. Well, we'll see. We'll see on PBE. All right. Interesting though. I mean, just having the dispel is super nice. Anything you can have a dispel on anything now. That's super nice. You don't have to have Oranda in your in your. In your cards or in your deck to have a dispel oh thank you for the bits again a town thank you so generous of you dude thank you so much let's move on scanner remove one secret card so anything is a gerbil now and if you put this on arco you remove two secrets very interesting single attack cards only though all right all right, blessing, alter heal and heal, remove one curse. Cards base stat minus twenty percent. Oh boy, anything can be a puppy now. Puppy ears, interesting. I like this. You don't need to have hungry bird to remove curses from your deck. Or oh wait, wait. Yeah, 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 this is heal and shield. So if you put this on Lotus, you remove four curses. <laughs> Right? Lotus has removed tree now, right? Lotus has removed tree curses, right? So if you put this on Lotus, you remove four curses. Probably overkill. Probably overkill on Lotus, but it, the option is there if you want it to. And you can just put this on a shield card and it's even better, right? Bye-bye. Very interesting, very interesting stuff. I like this, I like this. Alright, Scotch Tape. Ooh, buff. Only 4 PP now. Very nice. Energy drink, alright. Oh, it's now an epic. Oh, that sucks. But at least the PP cost. Ah, uh, yeah, PP cost has been increased to 5. Damage bonus increased to 20. But no one uses this for the damage bonus. Everyone uses this for the, the grade. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Okay. Old class charms. All right. There's six. Each class has one. 
Flamingo, all of them have been reduced to 4 PP. Nice. Hidden Razor. Oh, nice change. Okay. PP card reduced to 4. Alter attack cards. Okay. If the target has more than 4 bleed, 4 bleed turns, apply 1 grievous wound. Otherwise, apply bleed for 2 turns. Oh boy. Oh boy. You can have another source of grievance wounds now. You don't have to limit yourself to just uh, to just dual blade. Bleed just got stronger. Oh my god! Wow. All right. Again, and there's also that 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 rune, the new rune. What was it called? There's also that new rune. Is it the beast rune? Uh, Brutal Fang, this one. There's also this now. Oh boy. I have to find, figure out the, the optimal way to play this, right? Because you want your target to have more than 4 bleed turns when you use the card with this attached to it, right? Because you want that free Grievous Wound. But definitely interesting. Yep, 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 yep. Yep. Alright, let's move on. Reptile's Energy Drink. Uh, reduced to 15, blood spike increased to 6. Right, overall of above. Still probably not enough, not a compelling enough reason to use it. But at least it's there. Alright. New class charm. Ooh, new ones. Alright, tidal wave. Aquatic mystic charm for PP. This card deals 20% splash damage. Okay. I guess it's appropriate that it's an aqua charm, right? It's called splash damage all right so splash damage deal damage to all other targets based on the damage on the main target so yeah 20 percent splash is not a lot but the fact that it exists is super nice no it's literally it's literally it dude come on splash damage on an aqua it's called tidal wave lots of splashing happening when there's a tidal wave dude <laughs> <laughs> anyway all right all right let's uh let's move on uh there you go hail approves very nice all right move on mad moon beast mystic charm alter attack cards this card can't generate energy fragments but you get plus 25 percent attack so you sacrifice your energy fragments but you gain 25% bonus attack. Super nice. Also super scary. At least it's not your entire Axie, right? So you put this on your highest hitting attack, right? Obviously not Ronin. Because Ronin, base dam Ronin needs a base damage charm. What beast card? There's actually a lot. Oh boy. Put this on the little branch. Put this on a... On a Shiba. Oh boy. You lose out on the energy fragments, but... At least it's only just on this one card, right? You can make it up using... Ramp cards or something. Yeah, uh, I don't know. I'm still on the fence about Glorious Mane. But yeah, this is definitely an interesting... Uh, interesting charm. Alright. Let's move on. Uh, well, next one is Wind Badge. Alter single deal 40. Da Wait, what? 40% damage to another random target. Okay, so you definitely want to use high, high damage single attack cards with this. So no one uses the last one, the tail, the tail bird card that does 90%, uh, does 90 damage. With minus 20 HP, right? That's probably the best one to put this on, right? Post fight also. Okay. Yeah, there's a lot of high damage uh, bird charms. Or bird cards. So, yeah. Dealing an extra 30 something damage to a random target when you use a card, right? That's super nice. It says a random target, so you can also hit the same target twice. 
definitely interesting. Okay, let's move on. A horn drill. Bug Mystic Charm. Alter attack card. Discard one random card from your opponent's hand or draw by what? Okay. Bugs are discarding again. Oh my god, we're back to season two. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. Sure. So you you use Venom Master, you have that Venom Burst. Your opponent has a horn drill and it removes your Venom Burst. You go and cry. <laughs> oh boy. Alright, alright, alright. Okay. There's yeah, this is another way of, of controlling your opponent, just removing one card from their hand. It may the the problem with this is it may or may not be strong. Yeah, having uh, another option to discard your opponent hand or draw pile. It's a control card. It's it's like garish, but on anything. Ah, uh, yeah. It's better than garish actually, because garish. If your opponent doesn't have uh, anything retained, garish doesn't have an extra effect. But this, if your opponent doesn't have an extra effect, you get to discard your draw pile. Uh, Hale, do you know if this is, uh, d does it target the hand first? Or if your opponent does a ha has a card retained, can it still discard from the draw pile? Uh, not sure if there's a priority. Interesting. Okay, okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry if I'm asking so many questions. Maybe uh, uh, we can write them down and ask someone from the design team. Yeah, because these are important things to know. Because this, these, these things I'm asking can actually make or break a build, right? So, uh, maybe I'll I'll go back and write them down, and tag you on a tweet or something. All right, let's move on. Oak Bud, Plant Mystic Charm, Alter Attack Cards and Shield Cards. Shield Cards heal the target equal to thirty percent of the shield. Oh. Okay. Attack cards heal the owner equal to 30% of unblocked damage. So you have two options with this. You can put this on the shield and make it the heal and the shield card. Or you can put this on an attack card and make it uh, uh, something that heals you on attack. This is uh, very, it's very versatile for sure. Like, if put this on a beach, you get 30% of the 120 damage that you do. So that amounts around 30 something, 35 maybe. Yeah, something like that, 33%, uh, 33 HP heal. That's, uh, yeah. Okay, interesting. It's not a steal. It's a it's a heal on based on the damage. So it's not like it's not like piranha, but it's still pretty interesting, right? Yeah, th that too. You can uh, put watermelon or herbivore, right? You can use this on a herbivore or a piranha or uh leafy or herbivore. I mean herbivore and watermelon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Definitely strong. Definitely strong. All right, let's move on to the next one. Acid spray. Apply four poison per energy cost to one random axi. Debuff cards, cards that apply debuff. So, if you put this on on small frill, or what? Uh, what's the other one? Green thorns. You get an extra four poison. Or, even better, you can put this on other debuff cards. Not necessarily... Not necessarily your existing poison cards, right? So what, what debuff cards do reptiles have? What debuff cards do reptiles have? Uh, there's... Uh, what do you call that? The... Why so serious mouth? A razor bite. Razor bite deal uh, puts a, bl a bleed. So that's a debuff card. Does it work like that? 
Does it just need to have a debuff for it to be usable with this? What other cards qualify as debuff cards on reptiles? Hmm. I'll have to check that, but this is definitely interesting. But yeah, you, you, you get to do four more poison to one random Axie. That's definitely interesting. Yeah. All right, let's move on. Oh, it's the last one. Disclaimer. These changes represent current thinking. Final values may be adjusted as required and depend on the feedback as well. The intent of this preview is to allow players to know what direction these changes are taking as well as to gather opinions on these changes. All right, there you go. That's the end of the slides. Thank you. If you're watching this on YouTube and you made it this far, holy moly, thank you so much. And yeah, let me know in the comments what you think. And I'll see you guys on the next video, all right? Catch me on YouTube, on you Twitch. I'll be, I, I stream Axie Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. And yeah, I stream Axie. Catch me there and yeah, we can chat. Let me know. All right. Thank you guys for being here. I'll see you on the next video. All right. Bye for now.